There's another problem with eating animal flesh. It has too much protein. Now, when I was in medical school, I never heard the words too much protein. I thought the more protein, the better. Put them on a high protein diet, make them strong. Taint so. You better believe there's such a thing called too much protein, and most North Americans suffer from it. First of all, what is protein? Protein is the building block material that you use to make the hard structures of your body. Your fingernails are made of protein, your hair is made of protein, your bones are made of protein. It's the brick of our bodies, of solid substance. Now, you don't need very much protein during the day. You only need about 30 grams of protein a day. That's the weight of 10 pennies, okay? Imagine 10 pennies in your hand, that's how much protein you need. But look how much protein the typical North American consumes. <clears throat> On a typical North American eating day, a typical American who has bacon and eggs for breakfast and a glass of milk, who has a cheeseburger and milkshake lunch, and has a beefsteak dinner with a glass of milk and some ice cream for dessert, is clipping along at 150 grams of protein. That is a five-day supply of protein. That is too much protein. Why? Because your body can't store protein. You can store fats, you can store carbohydrates, you can't store protein. So what happens? Well, your liver starts breaking down that protein, and as it metabolizes it, it releases all sorts of, of toxic nitrogen-containing wastes like urea and ammonia and amino acid fragments. And these have a detrimental effect on the body. 